This is question number 21 from the 2013 KCP maths paper. It says, what is the size of the obtuse angle EFG? So, drawn below. So we're looking for the angle EFG, this angle here. Um, we're also given some information that can help us answer this question. Um, we're told it's an obtuse angle. And if you remember, an obtuse angle is an angle X such that... Um, it is greater than 90 degrees and less than 180 degrees. So using that information, we can see that it's def the answer is definitely not A and definitely not D. So it's either B or C. This is a useful um, tactic to use when, say, you're running out of time in the exam and you want to make um, an educated guess at the answer, but you might not have enough time to answer the question. Um, so yeah, so to do this, we'd have to use our protractor. Um, I have a 360 degree protractor, but it's fine to use um, a 181 as that's the one that most people have. And what you do is you place your protractor um, either with um, a zero line here or with any arbitrary line here and then measure the difference between the, um, the measurement that you get here and the measurement that you get here. It's easier doing it when you have zero here because you don't have to do any kind of subtraction. But if you just have, uh, so let's call that measurement one, measurement two, and you need to work out the difference between two measurement two and measurement one. But it's fine to do it with any arbitrary um, uh, kind of like reading here. So say if you have something like 30 here or 65, and then just you just subtract what you get for your reading here at M2. So, um, I'm going to do that with um, this calculator, so let me show you how I do it. And I'm not going to bother turning this cal sorry, this not this calculator, this protractor. And I'm not going to bother turning this protractor so that I have um, I have it at zero, the zero at G line at the line F G. I'm just going to use any arbitrary um, uh, reading here and then subtract the difference. So I'll put this so that the center of the protractor is here at F. Um, Let's make, make sure that I got that done properly. Yep, so that's that's right. And I will look to see what I get here for my M1 here at FG, and then look to see what I get as my M2 at EF, and then I'll work out the difference. So at EF, I seem to have um, 328 as my reading. And my reading at FG uh, seems to be 198. So let me subtract these from each other. So I get zero, carry one here, get a three, and I get a one here. So I get 130 degrees as my answer. So the answer to this question is B, 130 degrees.